father give evidence to my Christian experience did you hear what I said give evidence I'm tired of running around telling people I'm a Christian. I'm tired of telling people I love you without proof. I'm tired of telling people I'm serving you without proof. I'm tired of telling people that I'm living for you. Father, give evidence to my Christian experience. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my trusting you. Are you ready? Say, Father. Father. In this season, in this season, give evidence, give evidence to my Christian experience. My Christian experience. Results, results, genuine results. Genuine results. Open your mouth and pray. Bring me into a realm of authentic results. Give evidence. Give evidence. Are you praying? All the overflows pray. Give evidence to my serving you. Give evidence to my loving you. Give evidence to my live my living for you. Say father. I declare. I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life. Open your mouth and cry. I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. I declare, someone pray. I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word. Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now, you have spoken. Let it come to pass. Now. Let it come to pass now. Let it come to pass now. Say, Father, I decree, I declare divine restoration of opportunities of relationships of resources of men of my joy now open your mouth and pray restoration 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 Rakatas Kokobros, Abrakata Balakata Fraskata Balaka. Restoration. Are you ready to pray? Psalm 3 and verse 1. 3 and verse 1. Give my people the mic so that we'll pray. 3 and verse 1. It says, O oh Lord, how are they increased that trouble me? Many are they that rise up against me. Psalm 71 and verse 21. We are praying. Someone's destiny is about to change. Read with me. One to read. Thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me. How many sides? How many sides? Joshua chapter 3 and verse 7. Joshua 3 and verse 7. Read with me. And the Lord said unto Joshua, This day I will begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel that they may know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with you. Are you ready to pray? Shout this from the depth of your heart. Father, Father for your glory, for your glory, increase my greatness. Go ahead and pray. Increase my greatness for your glory. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. Take away smallness from my destiny. Increase my greatness. Someone pray. Tired of where 
you are. Pray. Tired of where you are. Pray. Tired of where you are. Pray. Father, for your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. For your glory, increase my greatness. Greatness is your heritage. Are you praying? Sapakata barakatosh, rateka barakatas, rata bataka paskata brandagatesh, rates kata barakata barakos. Increase my greatness. Increase my greatness. Increase the greatness of my family for your glory. Thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone pray. My God, something is happening to your spirit, man. I tell you, there is an elevation in the spirit. An elevation. I'm seeing a ladder. This is what I'm seeing. An elevation. You will suddenly go and see that things are changing. Changing in your life. Hmm. Prayer point number two. Take it down for me. For the last one month, this prayer point has not left my spirit. Restore everything that was lost. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore. You will restore. Restore everything that was stolen. Restore everything that was lost. Restore, you will restore. Are you ready to pray? Joel chapter 2. Some of you have lost all kinds of things. Everything to be lost has left you. You have lost opportunities. You have lost relationships. You have lost joy. You have lost strategic resources. It's time to have it back. Joel 2.25 And I will restore to you the years. And I will restore to you the years. God can restore time. Did you hear what I said? God can restore time. I will restore to you the years if God cannot restore time then he is not greater than time if it is he is greater and higher than the realm of time then he must sustain the ability to restore time Jeremiah 30 and verse 17 please give it to us quickly we are praying someone's life is changing for I will restore health unto you those failing organs those failing body parts you are just 20 30 and yet they are telling you that you are losing certain things it's time to be angry God does not just restore time God restores health and vitality Psalm 41 1 to 3 Shabaka parakatos yata. blessed is the man that considered the poor the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble verse 2 the Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. 
it says and he shall be blessed upon the earth it says thou will not deliver him to the will of his enemies shout verse 3 together the Lord will strengthen him in the bed of languishing and I will make all his bed in sickness God will not allow him to die not allow him to deplete and famish first Peter 5 and verse 10 I like this one God is restoring but the God of all grace who has called you to his eternal glory he says after that ye have suffered a while what does he do make you perfect establish you strengthen you and then settle you say it again make you perfect establish you strengthen you and then settle you say father, father. I, decree, I decree i declare, I declare divine, restoration divine restoration of opportunities of, opportunities, of, relationships, of relationships of resources of men of, of my joy, of my joy. Now, Open your mouth and pray. Restoration. 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 Paris Sabalagadas. Gram Patalagabarakatos. Rakatas Kotobros. Ebra Katabalakata Fraskatabalaka. Restoration. 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 Restore joy. Restore years. Restore things. Restore men. Restore resources. Shabaka Paros, Rakata Braskata Vaskabash, Rakata Braskata Palakos, Rakata Brantakabash, Ebrakatos Koto Brekatelis. Cry restoration, cry restoration, cry restoration. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Job chapter 42 and verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Lord gave Job how many? How many? As much as he had before. The Lord turned his captivity but he did not stop there. God restored by giving twice. Are you ready for the third prayer point? We have five in total, but we'll pray three now. And then I'll begin to minister deliverance. This is one miracle service you will not forget in a hurry. Are you ready? Prayer point number three. Genesis 21 and verse 1. It's one thing for God to speak, but it's another thing for his word to manifest speedily. Speedily. Listen. God's word can be sent, but it must arrive speedily. In the parable of the ten virgins, God himself was standing in the place of the bridegroom. It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made the oil of other virgins to finish. If the bridegroom came on time, all ten of them, they were virgins. Are we together now? It was the delay of the arrival of the bridegroom that made five to suffer loss. So when it does not arrive on time, your resources can pay for it. He says, satisfy me early with your mercy. Genesis 21 and verse 1. The Bible says, and the Lord visited Sarah as he has said. And the Lord spoke unto Sarah. Now watch this. You would think it just happened the next day. Look at how the Bible summarizes it. But let me break this scripture down for you. The Lord visited Sarah as he has said. 
and the Lord did unto Sarah as he has spoken. This is a spiritual reality. But the manifestation of this took 25 years before it arrived. Don't you think he just said it and it happened the next day? You see, the way God talks and the way he behaves, he expects his word to have come speedily. Whatever happened in the realm of the spirit that prolonged that situation, Jesus looked at the man in John chapter 5 and said, why are you still in this condition? And he said, I have no man. And it made his tragedy become 38 years. The woman who was bent for 18 years, another had hemorrhage for 12 years. Why does the Bible attach numbers to these tragedies? The Bible would have just said a certain man was sick. Abraham and Sarah were barren, trusting God. The man at gate, he had been there a long time. But the Bible is so meticulous, it attaches numbers. Notice when Jesus came, he did not honor the longevity of their pain. He made them know that for all of them, a possibility existed to have received the miracle earlier. Are you ready to pray? Let me give you one more scripture. This one we are going to pray. Because there are some of you, you can't wait again till December. No. The Bible said, this is the day. Not this is the week. Not this is the month. There are days, there are weeks, there are months, there are years. Whichever one your faith defines is what becomes your reality. If your faith is for years, save Johnny. If your faith is for months, save Johnny. He said, give us this day. Give us when? One more time. So God can give men this day. There are times they will say, after five months, on the sixth month of the seventh year, the word of the Lord came. But Jesus himself said, when you pray, remind the Father that it's within his power to give you this day. Give me this, this day. Give me liftings this day. Open a door for me this day. Are you ready to pray? Joshua chapter 21 and verse 45. Give us amplified. We are still praying. Don't give up on God. Because he won't give up on you. He saved you. I'm charging your faith as we get into this place of prayer. I know him. My God is able to do just what he says he will do. He's got a fulfilled every promise to you. Don't give up on God, cause he won't give up on you. John Joshua 21 45 read with me ready one to read there failed no part of any good thing which the Lord had promised to the house of Israel all came to pass how many how many are you ready to pray say father I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word that is upon my life open your mouth and cry I declare speedy manifestation of every prophetic word I declare someone pray I declare a speedy manifestation of every prophetic word Speedy manifestation. Speedy manifestation. You have spoken. Let it come to pass. Today, you are.
have spoken let it come to pass now you have spoken let it come to pass now you have spoken let it come to pass now let it come to pass now let it come to pass now in Jesus name in Jesus name my God I'm tempted to give you the next one just endure, let me give you the next one. Huh? Are you ready for the next one? John 14, 11. I have to give you the next one. This is why you came. He said, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. And if that revelation is what cannot make you believe, he said, believe me for the sake of the results. Believe me for the work's sake. Results can make men believe God and believe you. Did you hear what I said? Results can make men believe God and believe you. We read John 15, 8 earlier on. Hearing is my father glorified when ye bear much fruit. Not just fruit, much fruit. Great results. John 15, 16. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you. Hallelujah ordained you to go and bear fruit 15 16 and that your fruit should remain let me tell you the truth do not downplay results in this life i know that you are here because you love jesus but you are also here because you have seen results results at the end of any and every argument you can argue all you can but not in the presence of results hallelujah what is the prayer father give evidence to my christian experience did you hear what i said give evidence i'm tired of running around telling people i'm a christian i'm tired of telling people i love you without proof i'm tired of telling people i'm serving you without proof i'm tired of telling people that i'm living for you father give evidence to my christian experience give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my serving you give evidence to my trusting you are you ready say father, father in this season, in this season give, evidence give evidence to my christian experience, my christian experience. Results, results genuine results genuine open your mouth and pray bring me into a realm of authentic results give evidence give evidence are you praying all the overflows pray give evidence to my serving you give evidence to my loving you give evidence to my live my living for you Pray, pray. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. One more time. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by.
in Jesus name in Jesus name he said the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous do you know why he said lest he dips his hand in iniquity I've seen people who love God they are not lazy but they live their lives begging they never get to a point where they can live a decent life no they beg their wives join them begging their children join them begging their grandchildren join them begging their entire lineage lives by begging shout no way no one more time shout no way whatever you permit whatever you tolerate remains in your life I'm saying this because everything that is not of God it must let you go now there are there are families where the parents and the elderly people remain but the children die leaving the parents you see a family full of old people with no young man to help them he said I write these things to you fathers I write these things to you young men. I write these things to you children. This is what makes a complete generation. There must be elders. There must be young men. There must be children. No generation is safe without elders. No generation is safe without young men. No generation is safe without children. When Satan wants to suspend continuity, he looks for one of these three. If he kills the elders, the young men will become foolish young men because no counsel. When he kills the young men, there will be no continuity because the elders will pass on one day and the children will not have a way to be trained well. When he kills the children, you will now see the spirit that was in Pharaoh and he was negotiating the exodus of God's people. Let some go and let some stay. And Moses said, you are joking, all of us, our wives, our children. In this place tonight, there are elders. In this place tonight, there are young men. In this place tonight, there are children. In fact, in this place tonight, there are babies. Our commission tonight is everybody must be free. There is nobody that is too young to be free. And there is nobody that is too old to be delivered. In one minute, I'd like you to pray. Every first time down my destiny, you must let me go now. 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 Parasovrekeberekus kaprandege balakusiest. Krate fede sodon sabalas kaprandege beretus kiata. Shobra kaberege beretus kiata balakasi. In the name of Jesus. Everyone shout this after me. Say, Father. Father every curse. Every, curse, every enchantment. Every, every demonic arrangement. Every demonic orchestrated. orchestrated by, men by men. And by spirits. By spirit. Against my life. Yes. And my destiny. Yes. Let it be destroyed now. Open your mouth in one minute and pray. Every enchantment. Every curse orchestrated against my life, against my advancement, against my health, against my prosperity, by the blood of the eternal covenant, be broken, be broken, be broken, be broken. Be broken. In the name of Jesus. Give Jesus a big hand clap. Give Jesus a big, 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 big hand clap. Amen. I want us tonight to take a few minutes to pray in the spirit. Tonight will be an extraordinary encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. God is here to do us good. How many of you believe that? In the name of Jesus Christ. I assure you that God will surpass your expectations tonight in the name of Jesus. So as we submit ourselves to a few minutes of prayer, please don't be distracted. It is part of the service. Pray from the depth of your heart. Any distraction must be seen as an evil spirit trying to rob you of your portion tonight. Hallelujah. So you pray with fervency. You pray with all your heart. Lift your voice and say, Father. Shout it again. Say, Father. In the name of Jesus, 
I decree and I declare that everything you have for me I receive tonight go ahead and begin to pray pray in the spirit pray with understanding pray with power fire passion everything you have the healing everything you have the impartation the open doors direction illumination i receive tonight by your spirit someone pray those following from across the globe pray in the spirit that which god has in store for you receive by faith the bible says now there remaineth a rest for the people of god there remaineth a rest for the people of God. There remaineth a rest for the people of God. It says, let us labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. Labor to enter that rest. We labor in the spirit tonight to enter that rest in the name of Jesus Christ. That plane in the spirit, a portion for me, a portion for my destiny, a portion for my family. I step into it by faith. Someone is praying seriously, someone is praying without destruction. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. The Bible says the word of God is quick and powerful. It's only his process and his dealings that is slow. His word is quick and powerful. That is our next prayer point. You're going to cry, Lord, do a quick walk. It didn't take you so long to create the heavens and the earth. Recreate my life tonight. Do a quick walk. Lift your voice and begin to cry. A quick walk. A quick walk. A quick walk. Shake up a rakatoska brandekeberekatosia. Do a quick walk. Someone pray. Do a quick walk in my ministry. A quick walk in my life. A quick walk in my destiny. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Do a quick walk in the name of Jesus. Do a quick walk. A quick walk in my body. A quick walk in my finances. A quick walk over my job, over my family, over my marriage, over my children, over my health. Go ahead and pray. Do a quick walk by the Spirit of the living God. Someone is praying. Hallelujah. 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 We are still praying. Genesis 21 verse 6. This will be someone's testimony tonight. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that here will laugh with me. I'd like you to open your mouth and pray. Lord, I step into a season of laughter in the name of Jesus. Laughter means the war has come to an end. Laughter means the struggle has come to an end. Laughter means victory is established. 
you do not laugh during the time of war you do not laugh during the time of travail no woman laughs while giving birth it is after the child comes that laughter follows someone pray oh god make me to laugh release my laughter in this season laughter meaning rest laughter meaning victory established laughter meaning testimonies made manifest is someone praying all that hear will laugh with me all that see tonight will rejoice with me all that see my healing all that see my prophetic word all that see god locate me will laugh with me go ahead and pray all that here will laugh with me all that here will rejoice with me in the name of Jesus Christ in Jesus name we pray next prayer point you have turned my mourning into dancing and my sorrow to joy watch this if water can be turned to wine it means pain can be turned to joy if water can be turned to wine it means unemployment can be turned to victory even in terms of employment the 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 listen the idea there is not just water turning to wine the idea is the power that can make anything become what god says anything anything water turning to wine is only a sample it is to show you that nothing in itself must remain permanent it says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen visible now current are temporal that under a certain conditions the things that are seen can switch and be made manifest to something else say father one more time say father everything in my life that is not your will let it change tonight open your mouth and pray everything in my life everything in my life that does not look like you everything in my life that is inconsistent with your will for me everything in my life that is inconsistent with your blueprint someone pray let it change Everything that is not you pray in your life your marriage your ministry the life of your children your career it must change tonight if water turned to wine pain can be turned to joy if water turned to wine defeat can be turned to victory hallelujah hallelujah look up please in the court of law when a verdict is given and it is against you and you feel that justice was not meted out there is a dimension of the judiciary called the appeal court when you go to the appeal court you go with greater evidences and say in as much as it was a judge that made that declaration you still feel within your spirit that justice was not meted out are we together now even when god the judge sent a prophet to a man called hezekiah he said pack up your load he said, god almighty sent a genuine prophet to go and tell a man Put your house together, you will not recover. Hezekiah said, I respect you, prophet. You leave. He turned his face, knowing that the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. 
that in the character of God, mercy triumphs over judgment. Are we together? Say, Father, every judgment against my life, against my family, manifesting as a cause, manifesting as negative patterns, let the mercy of God overrun and overturn. Open your mouth and pray. Let mercy, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ill speakings of darkness, we appeal by the mercy of God that the ordinances of judgment be changed. Let it be overrun, let it be overturned. Koinonia, pray. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Mercy that speaks death. Mercy that speaks defeat. Mercy over curses. Mercy over ill speakings. That even the lawful captives by the mercy of God will be set free tonight. In the name of Jesus hallelujah we are still praying once upon a time the Bible tells us that because the wickedness of men had reached the heavens that God was going to met out judgment upon the earth and there was such chaos and catastrophe the Bible says the heavens gave up their waters the earth gave up their waters every one of the then inhabitants died they perished in that flood except noah his wife the three sons and their wives but then the bible says the rain continued the flood continued but something happened when god was about to bring it to a stop i hope you know that it did not just stop because god wanted it to stop let me show you genesis 8 verse 1 hmm. and God remembered Noah this is why the rain stopped and God remembered Noah and every living thing watch this and the cattle that was with him in the ark and God made a wind to pass over the earth and the waters assuaged verse 2 it says and the fountains of the deep and the windows of heaven were stopped and the rain from heaven was restrained not because it was time God remembered that there was still a man if this rain continues even the man I'm trying to preserve that evil will eventually destroy him there is a limit to which the ark can receive and preserve while it was rising God remembered for the sake of Noah I have to stop this flood now you are going to pray there are certain evils that have prevailed but now that you have come you are going to say Lord remember that I am your son remember that I am your daughter the Bible said which of you whose son will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for fish and he will give him a serpent go ahead and pray Lord remember not as though he has forgotten is a law in the spirit it brings him to consciousness of the fact that you need his mighty hand in your life go ahead and pray if you remember Noah remember my family remember me go ahead and pray 
and the Lord remembered Noah and the Lord remembered Joshua Selman and the Lord remembered Koinonia and the Lord remembered your business and the Lord remembered the sickness that is plaguing you hallelujah hallelujah when John the Apostle was recording the events that would follow the eschatological events that would follow he said that judgment will be meted out during the great tribulation and he said God himself had to put a restraint he says for the sake of the elect can I tell you no matter what kind of evil comes upon the earth there are men that move the heart of God and for their sake he will restrain it are we together now yeah. evil cannot continue unhindered when there are saints in light which of you whose child will ask him for bread and will give him a stone or will ask him for meat fish and will give him a serpent and God remembered Noah and God remembered Noah there are men who can forget and it is a terrible thing when people forget about you I have taught you here one man forgetting Joseph added two years to his calamity hallelujah the king forgetting Mordecai left him at the gate for only God knows how long but the Bible says that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep and he said bring me the chronicles we are still going to pray over this remembrance the memory of men can fail them but the spirit of God has an assignment to bring to remembrance that includes your destiny helper he can bring to remembrance that you said in January this young girl should have gotten a job and it is within your power what has stopped you from acting say father shout it say father in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let the book of remembrance be open concerning me go ahead and pray you're not wasting your time you're programming realities in the spirit through prayer let the book of remembrance be open outside pray all the overflows pray connecting online pray hallelujah praise the name of the Lord amen there was a very interesting story in the Bible is a story of the fig tree the Bible says that it was not even yet time for figs and Jesus was hungry and he saw a fig tree green very inviting and he went there hoping to get figs and the Bible says not finding figs he cursed it and said no man eat of you again and by the next day when they came there the Bible says they saw that it had withered you're going to pray it is dangerous to not bear fruit John 15 and verse 8 herein is our father glorified when ye bear much fruit so shall you be my disciples John 15 16 you have not chosen me but I have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring forth fruit and that your fruit should remain fruit here talks of results it matters that you produce results can I tell you the world we live in will never place a demand upon your life until and unless you bear fruit you bear fruit in ministry you bear fruit in business you bear there are many fruitless Christians they are born again they are saved but there is nothing about their life that makes them the desire of nations don't expect people to come and rally around you don't expect people to be used by God to support what you stand for if you do not bear fruit you are going to cry the spirit that is responsible listen 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 I've eaten a few fruits in my life and there are a few of them you can see the fruit looking wonderful especially fruits like garden egg and then you give it a bite only to find worms inside has that happened to you yeah. that you see a beauty it doesn't look bad doesn't look um, you know decayed looking very inviting and then you cut it 
and you find out that there is rot and something happening within, immediately what was once a beauty and a delight will only be good for the dustbin. You are going to pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in my life, in whatever manner, I curse it tonight by the God of heaven. Go ahead and pray. Everything fighting fruitfulness in ministry, fruitfulness in destiny, fruitfulness in career, I curse it by the Spirit of the living God. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Shalikapas kebrande kebereketos yata. Hallelujah. Let me give us two more prayer points before we sit. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I know that you are used to receiving an impartation for speed, but you are going to pray it. Hallelujah. God can bring acceleration to a man's life. And there are many ways he does that. Number one is by making all grace abound towards you all the resources that you need usually motion listen to me motion is impeded when the resources to make for speed is not there for instance if you are building and you do not have the money to complete it the building remains at the level of your last supply if it is 10 years it remains there but there are times that resources can come and you can build and finish in a moment are we together you are in ministry and there is bankruptcy of the grace that should produce results and bring increase and expansion always. If that grace is not there, the ministry will be pegged to reflect the last level of supply. You're going to pray that God will bring acceleration. Most of us here have vehicles and most of us drive. Hallelujah. When you drive, there usually are two components that your feet is responsible for maneuvering. One is called the brake. The other is called the accelerator. When you leave your house and the moment the green light is clear for you, especially when you are aware that you are late for a program or for an interview, you make use of that provision in your car called an accelerator. Are we together? And the accelerator helps you to catch up and sometimes so that you are able to beat time. Lord, accelerate my life. That is the prayer you are going to pray. Many of us, you are not experiencing stagnation, but you are too slow. Everything about your life is too slow. Lift your voice and cry to the God of heaven. Accelerate my life. Make sure you pray with understanding. I can't waste my destiny. Accelerate my life, oh God. Accelerate my life. Bring establishment to my life. Bring stability to my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Helakosa kreska berekatos yatabarandas. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Accelerate my life. Koinonia, you are praying. Accelerate my life by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Huh. Final prayer. Matthew 6, 7. But when you pray, it says, use not vain repetition as the heathen, for they think that they will be heard for their much speaking. Next verse. Be not therefore like unto them, for your father knoweth what things you have need of, even before you ask him. But then it says, when you pray, pray in this manner.
Go ahead. Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Verse 10. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in the earth as it is in heaven. Now, verse 11, shout it with all your heart. Give us this day. One more time. Give us this day. If God said this day, may your lack of faith not make it this month. May your lack of faith not make it next year. Listen. He said, give us this day our there is something called daily bread. Daily bread. Bread there does not just talk about what you make with flour. It means the requisite provisions that make for your efficiency per day. God is that meticulous. He's that, you already said you, he, you called him father. That means for every day of your life, the moment you are waking up, the angels are positioned. They have been sent to make sure that all that is responsible for your efficiency is there. But I can knock your door trying to give you a parcel and as a result of lack of discernment or you are not even in the house, you may not receive it. We are going to pray this prayer. Give it to us again. Verse 11, give me this day my daily bread. Lord, by faith and with every sense of gratitude, I cry. Give my family this day. Give my ministry this day. Open your mouth and pray. You will marvel and wonder at what happens to you as a result of this prayer. Lord, give me this day. Send me help from Zion this day. All that it takes for my efficiency. Give me this day, not this month, not this year, not this decade, not this century. Give me this day. Give me this day. For in Jesus' mighty name I pray. In Jesus' matchless name we pray. Are you ready to pray? Listen to me. There is a name that the Nephilims are called. Two names that will constitute our prayer tonight. One, they are called watchers. Do you know what watchers are? Huh? it is the offspring of this that were called familiar spirits their assignment is to study the growth of people within a territory and make sure that there is a limitation as covenanted they are called watchers not watchmen watchers should i give you an example of those kinds of wicked spirit although in this case he was not one of the nephilims but they called him a madman but that madman went to stay in a strategic cave when jesus was going to the other side the spirit said go and meet him who told the madman jesus was coming as soon as jesus got there here was a madman looking at him and the demons start to speak have you come to destroy us we know you are coming to liberate this territory but we are the watchers over this territory the moment Jesus casted them out immediately somebody's business went down immediately and it made them to drive Jesus out of town they said Jesus leave leave please leave you are making us lose here these spirits number two they are called gatekeepers you know what a gate is is the mystery of access that opens you up to a whether to to healing to grace to anointing there are families whose destiny are under the keys of gatekeepers they are not humans they sit down and manipulate the destinies of families please pray oh 
when it's time to pray it's a few minutes but pray are we together they are the ones who study all the graduates five people the only person that graduates they now kill him and you will think it's a mistake the gatekeepers but rise up on your feet let's pray let's pray let's pray let's pray and the seed of the woman hallelujah listen the watchers they make sure that the ordinances spoken over territories remain so so they declare over this territory no woman marries a good man why because a good man with her will produce a good child and that child can be an evangelist that will change that land so they are watchers the moment how many of you have seen that somebody just says i love you something happens it's like a report sent in the spirit immediately and something happens immediately i want to give you a job and all of a sudden the watchers lift your voice and begin to blast in the spirit Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I command. I command the sword of vengeance. The sword of vengeance upon every entity. Upon every entity manipulating my destiny. Manipulating my family. Lift your voice and pray. I tell you something is shifting in the spirit. I know. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. I prophesy. I prophesy over my territory. Over my territory. Over my family. Over my family. Over my loved ones. Over my loved ones. Every gatekeeper. Every gatekeeper. Holding the keys. Holding the keys. To their next level. To their next level. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I command the gates open now. I command the gates open now.
Hallelujah. Pray this prayer with understanding and see what happens to your life. Listen. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every seed. Every seed. In me, in me, that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ. I speak to you. I speak to you. Your time is up. Your time is up. Leave my body now. Leave my body. Hallelujah. My God, fire is born. Fire is born. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every covenant. Every covenant. Over my life. Over my life. Every covenant, every covenant over my family, over my family, every covenant, every covenant over my loved one, over my loved one that is not of Christ, that is not of Christ, and is bringing us failure, and is bringing us failure, is bringing us pain, is bringing us pain, is bringing us defeat, and is bringing us defeat by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I shatter those altars. Hallelujah. We are going to pray. Listen. Just pray what I tell you. Whether you understand what I'm saying or not. The Lord just showed me something now and we are going to pray. Are we together? In the name of Jesus. In the name, the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Every door. Every, every door. door that has given satan access that, that has given satan, satan to visit me to visit me in dreams in in dreams, dreams, and encounters and encounters in the name of jesus in the name of jesus i declare i declare that door is closed now that door is closed Shake 
Hallelujah. We are still going to pray. Something is happening. You will see the testimonies that will come out from tonight's prayer. We are still praying. Listen. They come to you in the night and try to molest you. They try to sleep with you. They try to press you. They come as animals. They use the faces of men you know. Not humans. They are watchers. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I decree and declare. I decree and declare. Every stranger. Stranger. Oppressing me at night. Oppressing me at night. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. I break your hold over my life. I break your hold of my and pray. one of the greatest activities of these entities is to stop the gospel from reaching your home you can preach to others you can be holding crusades raising wheelchairs but if that gospel nears your compound here they come they are watchers you can preach to anyone else sing to anyone else but if that thing comes near your compound are you ready to pray in the name of jesus in, in the, the name, name of jesus, jesus i declare i, I declare, declare that the gospel that the gospel of salvation of salvation of healing of healing of restoration of restoration reaches all my loved ones reaches all my loved ones right now right now in the name of jesus in the name of open your mouth Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, please listen. Even if you have not prayed anything tonight, I'm going to give you a few minutes to really pray. Shut up. Are we together? Aside from the Gospels, the greatest area of attack of these entities is marriage and family life. Listen to me. If they cannot stop you from settling down, they stop fruitfulness. Or they plant something in your child. You give birth to a child who becomes something else. It's not normal. We are going to pray. Listen, every sister here, when it's time to pray, lay your hands on your womb. Listen, I'm blasting tongues and pray. I will not give birth to an entity that is another spirit. Lift your voice and pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. 
I decree and declare if there is anyone here having visitations of spirits coming to you in the night molesting you whether as animals as human male or female I declare right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost I decree and declare let that fire separate you and them separate you and them right now separate you and them right now lift your hands and pray I prophesy over every family tree of which you are part if there be any seed of Belial any seed of the prince of darkness in your lineage in the name of Jesus I call upon the God of Jeshurun oh, and I decree and declare let fire land on that lineage today yeah. let fire land on that lineage tonight yeah. Yeah. lift your hands was he pray the altars of impotent the altars of barrenness the altars just keep your hands lifted of poverty the altars of untold hardship that have been programmed in lineage in many lineages represented here write and declare let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. let the fire fall and destroy them Amen. hallelujah lift your hands let me pray dangerous prayer apostle james said that when you want a body to stop functioning remove the body these entities are combinations of spirits and bodies there is a strategy for stopping their function i decree and declare in the name that is above all names that if there is any of those entities please listen i'm praying now i'm seeing fire falling on people that if there is any entity whether in our villages or our homes a pure human sent by darkness right now i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies Amen. i cause a separation between their spirits and their bodies I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Lift your hands let me pray for you if there is anything that your family should have handled today i don't care whether it's position of influence there are some of you where you are with your love for god you should not be at that level now yes, but there is something programming your remaining there can i prophesy a lifting yes, for somebody in the name of jesus tonight by this grace and unction I declare to you every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now yeah. every entity holding you down may the grave swallow them now Amen. therefore I prophesy to you beginning from tonight rise to a level you have never seen rise to a new dimension of influence rise to a new dimension of power hallelujah can i prophesy over your finances yes, sir. do you believe it the bible says believe in the lord your god so shall you be established 
he said believe in his prophets don't mind this our arrogant generation that would not listen to the word are we together let me tell you something there is something called sovereign wealth wealth by the finger of god in the name of jesus by this time tomorrow i'm saying it if you have the faith to receive i stand in the name of jesus christ the son of the living god by this time tomorrow may my god surprise you by this time to i prophesy to you i shift things i shift wealth to you from the realm of the spirit i command strangers i seize their sleep may they bless you i instruct them i set it as an ordinance in the spirit in the name of jesus christ it's not by might it's not by power it's by the spirit listen you will be surprised at the testimonies you hear tomorrow some of you you will be minding yourself after the just walking home and before you reach home you are already crying for joy and saying what is this what is this listen if you can receive for your family i stretch my hands some of them think you are wasting your time coming every day but may my god give them a sign tonight may my god surprise them with a sign tonight a sign that will bring them by themselves tomorrow may my god give them a sign tonight listen listen let me tell you something we're rounding up you see before you believe it go and find out his track record don't just believe foolishly ask questions this person talking like this as he said it before and what the bible says he confirmed the words of his messengers it's not pride it's the truth this seven days was designed to change us listen tomorrow i'm going to give you some instructions huh by friday you are going to carry your documents and the rest and come with it let me see the devil let me see the principality except it is not god that ordained this ministry see what my god will do there must come a time in your life where god will shift you if you don't shift it's your fault oh, let me tell you this hallelujah i'm praying over finances we're rounding up already i i didn't plan to talk about but the lord just put it in my spirit it's not so that you come and so please don't come out here if you don't know what you are doing please this is not it's not a ritual we're not playing games here but i want to pray for people who can believe this man you see standing before you by his grace is a steward of the mysteries of god the bible says let every man minister according to the measure of grace do you understand i can look at someone and say take 10 naira from my pocket this is me a man talk more the god of heaven but he's helpless until someone declares please just believe me once i beg you in the name of jesus this night just be you can insult me if it doesn't happen but just believe i want to pray again for your finances the name of jesus christ i pray and i ask my god the god who has taken me by his grace the god who took this ministry by his grace i stand before his altar and i program a climate of strange favor over your life program a climate of strange favor over your life i program a climate don't ask where it will come from you will not see the wind you will not see rain but i program a climate of strange favor over your life
When God becomes the center of your focus, you keep looking at him and setting your gaze on him and you will not know when you are rising. You will check and find out that you are not where you used to be again. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Please hold the hands of someone by your left and by your right. At the center of it all is you that I see. Is you that I see. At the center of it all is you that I see. It's you. It's you that I see. There is power in your name. Ah. Miracles, miracles happen in your name. As we lift up our voice, as we lift our voice and pray. Hallelujah. I woke up this morning to pray at about 3 a.m. Now listen, we are going to pray. And when I woke up, I was just walking around. I was not even praying. And the next thing the Lord told me, go on your knees. I just rested on the chair and I was in the spirit. And the strange thing was, I saw the level of speed things were unfolding in people's lives just like a new season listen listen I want to hear what I'm telling you I saw people buying vehicles getting houses moving I mean listen listen I, I mean what I'm saying you know how how do I put it now um, there's this thing in a when you, you have a, a, a any digital device and you are fast forwarding you can adjust the fast forwarding listen to me I was in the spirit when I saw this I was watching like a drama and then every time seasons are opening one of the ways there are many ways God shows me one either in a military military attire or number two the page of a book opening and suddenly I saw the page of a book opening immediately I saw this I came back and that's why the Lord told me to bring this message let me tell you my brothers and my sisters new seasons always don't look like it but for those who have strength lift your voice and begin to pray in the soul this powerful teaching by Apostle Joshua Selman here on Mercy House TV. We believe the wisdom, revelation and divine truth 
shared in this message have sparked a fresh hunger for the things of God in your life. Apostle Simon's teaching continues to be a beacon of light and a source of deep spiritual insights for believers across the world. And we are so honored to bring these life-changing messages to you. As you meditate on the words you just heard, we encourage you to allow the Holy Spirit to continue to walk in your heart. Let this message become more than just words, but a seed planted in your spirit, ready to bear fruits. Remember, the Bible tells us in James 1 verse 22 that we should be doers of the word and not hearers only. It's not enough to listen to this powerful message. Apply them, pray over them, and watch God transform your life in amazing ways. If this message has touched your heart, don't keep it to yourself. Click the like button to let us know and share with your friends, family, and even on your social media platform. The word of God is meant to be shared and by doing so, you are helping to spread the light of the gospel and impact others for Christ. You never know who might need to hear this message today. And if you are new here, we warmly invite you to join the Mercy House TV family by subscribing to our channel. We release spirit-filled content every day, featuring teachings and sermons that rebuild your faith, encourage your soul, and equip you for victorious Christian living. Don't forget to click the notification bell so as to be the first to know when new videos are uploaded. We also want to hear from you. Drop a message below so as to know how today's message has impacted your life. Whether you have a testimony or a prayer request or questions about the teachings, we are here to engage with you. Our community of believers is here to support one another, uplift each other in prayer, and grow together in our work with God. We read every comment, and your feedback helps us to continue delivering content that blesses and nourishes your spirit. For those who are longing for more teachings, feel free to explore our channel's vast collections of sermon from the great man of God. Whether you are looking for deeper revelation on faith, prayer, the Holy Spirit, or spiritual growth, we have resources that will meet you where you are in your Christian journey. Take advantage of these resources and let your spirit be enriched with the word. Finally, as we conclude, we want to remind you that God's presence goes with you wherever you go. Whatever challenges or trials you may face, know that His grace is sufficient for you. Continue to trust in Him, lean on His promises, and remain steadfast in your faith. Remember, you are not alone. God is with you, guiding, protecting, and working all things together for your good. Thank you for being a part of today's teaching. Stay tuned for more life transforming messages and until we meet again in the next video. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, guard your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. Remain blessed, stay encouraged, and keep pursuing God's purpose for your life. See you in the next video and may God's abundant blessings be upon you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus.